First tonight, back from the dead canoeist John Darwin has admitted seven charges of obtaining money by deception after faking his own death. The 57-year-old appeared in front of a High Court judge in Leeds this morning alongside his wife Anne. But she gave a very different response to the same charges. For the latest, let's cross live to Leeds now and our reporter Greg Eastiel. Greg, can you tell us what exactly happened there this morning? Well, he may be back from the lead, but from the death, but uh, in the land of the living, uh, John Darwin's a man who has to account for his actions in court, and that's what he was here for this morning uh, under the usual intense glare of the media. Photographers swarming around the prison van trying to catch a glimpse of him. In fairness, we didn't see him at all the first time. We really got to see him was in court with Anne Darwin. They appeared, of course, as husband and wife, but it's important to remember in the eyes of the law, they were appearing as separate defendants. And to that end, they both entered very different pleas to the charges against them. Let's start then with John Darwin. He's effectively held his hand up to all the charges against him of obtaining monies by deception of faking his own death. Monies amounting to hundreds of thousands of pounds. Anne Darwin, though, well, her pleas couldn't have been more different. Not guilty on all fronts, she said, and that means she'll now face a trial on Teesside later in the year. As I say, immense interest in this case from way back in December when John Darwin first returned to the UK after so many years missing. I should imagine some of the people taking the most interest will be the people who joined the search for him that night all those years ago. The search was, was massive by any stretch of the imagination, involving six lifeboats and probably up to 60 to 80 volunteer crew at any one time. The lifeboat searched continuously virtually till daylight failed again the, the next day, on, on the Friday. And in that time the lifeboats had to refuel, change crews and, and in total we searched something like 200 square miles of the North Sea. Lots of interest then on the outside, but it's his life inside that's probably concerning John Darwin a lot more tonight. We heard in court that the former prison officer has been having a difficult time in prison. Self-harm was mentioned, and we also gather that he's been psychologically assessed. So he'll be worrying considerably about just exactly how heavy his sentence will be. He won't find that out until Anne Darwin's trial has ended. That's expected to take place on Teesside in July. But his own barrister said in court that he is expecting a lengthy prison term. So another extraordinary day for that couple from Hartlepool who seem capable of creating headlines around the world. Greg from Leeds Crown Court, thank you very much.